Hello, hello, hello. It would seem I'm here again. Me, Ash and Ninja, and I'm here with Archeon. And we have a slight issue with our burgeoning new army of Archeons. In that, well, looks like uh, Mrs. Uh, what's her name? Mrs. Kislev, Sarina Katarina, has decided she wants to have a fight. So let's have a fight. So a big part of this is we're going to have to make Archeon try and clomp through her army and get into grips with the artillery, I think. I have a bit of uh, ranged, which is going to sort of be a problem. I'm going to try and flank them with our knights, I think. We'll just see how we go. So let's get a busy. So if we can distract their artillery with Archaeon, um, I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with this. They do have a little bit of um, uh, mobility going on. What's that? Some sleds. That's not good. The sleds are always a bastard of a thing. But we'll see how we go. I've got monsters. And we just mostly want to tie up their, their ranged and their, their artillery as soon as possible because they're the main things that would be our problems all right now uh, we'll just start deployment so our main infantry is gonna we'll line them up here and we'll sort of march them up behind this cops here we'll get our big guys with them Knights, I'm going to need... I'm going to start them in the forest so that they can't see where they are. Archaon, as you can see, I've given him the a banner of swiftness. So he is super fast at the moment. I believe these guys are both on foot. Yeah, all three of them are on foot. So we we'll get them without infantry. We should be okay. Let's just sort of get them moving up. Let's see if we can actually get our big monsters into them. Oh. They are already going to be a problem. So you head there. Big monsters go after the sleds. You guys go after sleds as well. You guys just move up. Oh, jeez, they've taken a bit of a bit of a hit already. Archaeon's getting up there, which is good. Oh, you just keep going, Archaeon. Just, just power through. Don't worry about any of that stuff. None of that's too interesting. Just power through and get on to those health storms, please. It's good. And let's drop this down as well. A little bit of this stuff, whatever we're doing here. Now, where did our, have our knights, knights have moved out? So let's get into some streltsy here. Right, uh, Get into those war sleds pretty please. If not, we kind of have a couple of issues. Uh, snow leopards, that's okay. Let's get our forces moving forward here. They're destroying sleds, they're destroying ranged units, that's good. Archaon, you've got to do your thing here, and let's also drop that down up there. Now the knights are taking a bit of a beating over here. Thank you, wife, for getting me my coffee. Always nice. Uh, I don't really have anything we're fighting over here. Let's see what we can get over here to help the knights out. Chaos 
Let's see if we can help them out as well. Yeah, one of our knights is broken. That's okay. How's our count doing? Yeah, he's just smashing stuff over there. That's good. Let's drop a burning head down over here. See if that can do a bit of damage. Yes, you do. That's good. Get into those Zargard, please. Uh, let's get the Chaos Warriors a bit more in there. Moving. You in there. Who is this over here? Zargard. Okay. Great weapons. That's fine. I think they're mostly just shooting at him. Oh, that's right. They've got a little Grom as well. Where our two heroes are. See if we can get them attacking the little Grom. It's just a big fucking melee over there. Let me get one of our units of Dragon Ogres over there. What do we have over here? That's okay, that's the Knights and them. That's fine. You two need to get into the little Grom, please. I don't really think their artillery's done much at all, which is good. Let's see if we can get another burning head down. And you're not really doing anything, but we don't have power to send anything there. These guys doing, yep, they're doing okay. Uh, they're getting a the crap shot out of them, so let's see if we can get these guys into the Streltsy here. And I tell you both to get into the little ground. Just chase it around as well, just fucking destroy it. Onto that one, please. Uh, let's drop that down on them. Let's charge at the back of them, please. How are we doing over here now? For some reason, badly. How are you guys going? Did you actually manage to get into melee? I don't think so. Get into those Streltsy there. Right, they're no longer on the Great great Cannon, so... That's good. Right, if you can attack him, please. Doing well there. I think what Archeon should actually start doing is probably try and take out Tsarina now. He should be able to absolutely crunch her in melee. As long as he doesn't, like, die to all of the bears that we've got going on us here. What I don't really get is how they have such high everything when it comes to leadership. Are you fucking kidding me, what? You're fucking kidding me. How's he doing? Come on, take, take Zarina out, please. Hit the little Grummore. Retreating. Mostly us retreating, which seems a bit weird to me, but whatever. Right. Archeon is getting his ass kicked over here, so that's good, I guess. Let me 
getting this we're getting destroyed uh, Back after her, please. Mortal fool. Attack the mortal. Keep on that little grom. We take a bow. Exalted hero. Not you. Sorcerous might. Uh, most of that's gone now, so let's start heating some of this up again. Make claim. Looks like they should be about to shatter. Keep on her, please. Let's see if we can get. I don't think anyone else is fast enough. But yeah, I'd like to be. I'd like to actually kill her. Killing off Zarina would be best. There we go. That will do that nicely, I think. Now, finally, a sip of coffee. Hmm. We took heavy casualties. We basically we took very little from their artillery, at least. But yeah, the they are fucking insane, though. Holy shit! They just fucking wrecked. Uh, overall, we did okay, though. Okay, on did a good job. was supposed to be a loss. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, most of their guys have like, have like decent chevrons and stuff. Oh good, uh, almost everything is wiped out. Cool, that's good. Might take the replenishment on this because we took a bit of a beating. Not a huge amount we get back, but Better than a poke in the eye of the sharp stick with dog shit on it. Uh, Archaeon should be in replenishment territory for us as well, hopefully. Hopefully. Because that would be good for us as well, having a bit of replenishment. Because Archaeon needs it. Alright, so they looks like they did discover our two armies there. That's fine. Neither of those are much of a threat. What's actually in there is not much of a threat. So we should be able to take Fortress of the Damned without too many issues there. So that'll be our next turner. Okay, so they took that one. That's okay. I mean, what we took out is uh was much more powerful. So if you can tread the shadow paths as I, you want military access. I'm not just giving you military access out of nowhere, Festus. You can get fucked. I really like how these beastmen are wandering around being dicks. Doing Fey Enchantress. So you start the Herbert Army start to look a bit worse for wear as well, which is good. Uh, I will take a non-aggression pack with them, just because I don't need an extra war over on that flank. So the less wars I can have while I'm trying to still, still. Smash the Dark Elves into um, Oblivion, the better. Need 
to take take the north. Push the dark elves back. Destroy them. And I've got a fight around Kislev now as well, so that's not the easiest the shadows. thing. We might Oscar, you want? Yeah, we'll take the trade agreement and the money. What are we doing? What are we doing? Almost there, yep. Captain Sisiku. Tyrant of the Black Ocean. Ooh. Alright, let's see. I have a powering force or Umbra. Umbra or Frosty it is. So when I don't need the extra money, I'm not going to worry about it. Enables frostbite attacks, so Okay, and causes terror when fighting Kislev. Okay, well, I think he causes terror anyway, but yeah. Uh, path to glory unlocked. So he got some levels. Okay, so he can now devote. I don't think I want him to. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. Ah, oh, jeez. Gonna get RSI from all this clicking. So, we did well, we are, mm, we actually got a fair bit of replenishment in. Okay, okay on. Chaos for Chaos Warrior units, for Defense of Chaos Chosen and Chosen units. Your capacity and authority, and it makes him demonic. Not too worried about going up there with him or there. I want to go with Fettered Gallopot because I want more casualty replenishment from our friend Archaeon. Uh, where is the rest of his forces? Now, you've got a path to glory to go down to Corn, so we're going to do that. You could go down a path to glory with Slanish or Zinch, but I'm going to leave him... I'm actually going to turn it off. I'm going to leave him as undivided, mostly because I want him to be able to fly around on a manticore. Uh, he got a few points, which is good. You are also going to become a corn champion. with those two. You might have noticed I like core champions. Uh, da, da, da. You got another point in wound maker. What level are you? You're level 18 so you don't get any weapons and such just yet. Man I've got a list of them though. Oh, Dragon Danger. I've had more of them. Ooh, maple amulets. They, we don't need those at all. Uh, brass cleaver, brass cleaver is good. Uh, no, uh, what else do we have that's a bit rubbish? No, iron coast icon's good. Cool, no, that's fine. Just need more of our uh, heroes and lords to get up level. Alright, so I don't think having Archaeon go roving there will be a good idea yet. So let's start uh, just popping into ambush stance where he stands. Yeah, Griffin Legion's pretty nasty. Ice Guard, Ice Guard, Zargard. Yeah, well, that's pretty nasty. So let's just leave him there for the moment. Uh, Bellacore, though. Where do I think Bellacore would be best used? Well, what we'll do with you is pop you in ambush stance over here. Uh, even then, we're fucking gonna get butchered. Uh, no Chaos Warriors available. Mm, yeah, we get fucking butchered on that one. So maybe send Bellacore through there. Might just see what, what she's gonna end up doing. Uh, because we do have these beastmen here that are being wankers, so we might get Bellacore on that instead. 
Alright, so an Irath still needs a bit more, so maybe we'll lead this with Veridon, but he's mostly got knights in ranged, so uh, we'll send an Irath in first on this. Alright, continue siege. A fair bit of armor piercing they've got. Lord of course. You come in as well. Let's have a look at what all this this will all amount to. A close victory with no full units, so let's just zog that through. And we're just gonna occupy it. That should give both armies a fairly decent replenishment. Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? The longships are ready. Okay, cool. They are a vassal. I didn't realize he was even there. Oh, that just spawned. Lord I don't really know. Cool, yeah. So it looks like we're going to get a good replenishment from that. War and slaughter. Already at rank four, which is good. So rank five, so walls in. Chaos warriors, chaos knights, and money. Yes. Yes. I'll push Arcaon back here a little bit. Help hit's going to have to just defend itself. Uh, Anirath got up a level, which is nice. He's got all of that stuff already. Oh, look at that. That's him. Yep. So he's already got plenty of stuff. Yeah. Uh, gave him Skull Crusher before. Give him the physical resistance because that'll be really good for his troops. Exalted Both of his heroes are at level 19. Man, one more level. Lord of War. I can give them lots of stuff. So, let's see. An Irath. Uh, there was something I saw here. Oh, that's a, be a Demon Prince. What was it? Oh, that's right. I was going to see if I can rank up his soldiers yet. Nope. Cannot do. Though I can rank up his... All of them to knights now. Which is excellent. That increases his power by a lot. Uh, they can't become knights yet. They can't become chosen yet. They can't become chaos warriors yet. But let's see what we can do here. So he's got fetid galpot. So we'll go into that stage. He has decent heroes, which is good. All these chariots. Chariots aren't the best, but I'll do for this stage. It's okay. Anyone else got levels while I'm here? Nope. Good, good. Hero here has not moved yet. Uh, go for block army. Just because. Uh, new building available. Ooh. Monolith of Katam. Not going to worry about that one. So what else we got? He hasn't done anything. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. I'm coming up on that flank with him. That will assist greatly, I think. Might even be able to hit Prague if they don't have much of a, an army in there. Let's see. Uh, they probably won't make it, but eh, that's all right. Uh, Nairath has moved. Elkroth has moved, apparently. Elkroth? Oh, that's right. Yep, I moved him over there. Peridon's done his thing. Archaon is replenishing after the battle with... Whatever her face is. God maker. How is our... Because we're getting skull cannons, I think, at the moment. So how's our skull cannon? Uh, up to got two or four. So I'm going to do that. So away we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Kislevite armies are clearly now worried. 
It was a good army that she had, so... Who's that that's got Embuscada? Oh, Helgroth. Oh, yeah, I can read it right there. Yeah. Don't need to actually go over it to read it, do I? Oh. Harganeth is definitely on the back foot now, which is nice. Got our two corn armies there to push ahead against them. Oh, I see. So that's like the the army that spawned, but we don't have any towns for them yet. So I see what happened. Mm. Mm. We need to push further west now. the harbinger of disaster going to do other than be a no oh he's taken the var camp okay don't want him to actually do that so we are going to have to destroy him which i think is fine oh, so she made it onto land and we've ambushed her and we're getting a pyrrhic victory out of it I think I should take that, uh, to be honest. Because, like, uh, the Knights of the Realm and everything just fucking slaughter most of my... So let's just accept that. Uh, three units lost, that's nothing. We'll take the money and the souls as well. So that's good. That is one less threat there at the moment. There's actually pretty much no threats there now, I'd say. Really? Less threats for us, the better. Because right, for a while, we were having problems with those um, little bastards. Taken one hell of a lot to take, get get them out of our territory. Those Dark Elves have just been a pain. Yeah, so, because what I want to do, Hellcroft, I think I want him to take that Beastman town. While, uh, uh Bellicor wipes them out. On his side of things. That will re-secure this bit of land just for me and my vassals. Name. So, Hellcroft, you're level 12. He's managed to pick himself up an axe of corn and a spell shield. That ain't too bad, really. Extra replenishment because he killed the fair enchantress. Trait gain for... Oh, yep, they're having lots of his own men killed. That's good. Sounds weird to say that, but, you know, whatever. Looks like his heroes have all gone up as well. And we've got out that done. It's actually in pretty good... Well, relatively good, Nick, that army. Uh, I would have liked to get some Chaos Warriors before we go up. Hence the far camp, but uh, wait, no, we want one of them as well. That. Uh, pop in them. Good to get some shields. Let's give him his level. We want to upgrade our non demonics. Uh, these guys can have. My ascension is assured. Corn parts. Because who doesn't want their path of corn ready? And I forgot to actually spend their points. Yep, that's good. 
Back to Hellcroft, please. His heroes. That's good. Uh, let's head this way. Even though it's kind of upset our beastmen friends, because apparently they're our friends. Hmm. They have no allies or anything. That's good. Let's just declare war. That is a complete pissant army. Right. So that'll... Should be able to slaughter that. Should be able to, but apparently... That's as far as he can go. So that's fucking annoying, isn't it? In it. One more rank for them. So... Let's see, they're rank 7. Oh, see, if they need rank 8, damn it. Right, you're going to head out from the Fortress of the Damned. You still need a bit more replenishment than him. So he's going to hang there for the moment. While oh, this continues to rebuild. Uh, Kaon's force is now looking pretty... Pretty solid. I'd like a scout to be able to use around here, though. So that I'd be able to see what's what. Otherwise, I would have sent him towards Ostrovsk first. Oh, that's alright. Get him down this way. Uh, it's 13 there, so that's a pretty big army there. Let's see what Galator can find up around here. All right, because uh, he can be seen or something. Promise of pain. And you have another faction's army. All right, so yeah, I'm just too close to that town. All right, we'll see what they'll do. They'll probably run off to one of the towns. I want Prague because that one I can turn into a dark fortress. Uh, he probably can't do anything here. Twenty-two uh, percent. Let's try it anyway. Worries. Failure is fine. Let's do some technology stuff. Uh, corn is my preferred. What's that? Uh, more corruption for each of those. Let's go with that. It doesn't really could do anything for us. None of the none of the um, stuff really does now. Do I have 35 grand to spend? What would be good? Where would it be good? This, this here can do with some. Gemstones 5, ah, uh, yeah. Let's just put in the gemstones. Goromandri Mountains. We actually might do a bit of recruiting around here while we're fighting Kislev. Oh. Now to put more up to the top level is always good. Uh, you, Crystal Spires, having that building there would be good. And that is spending all of our money. So that is going to be it for the moment with Berlacor, for this episode at least. We've still got lots more fighting to do against Kislev. Uh, might be able to not in ambush stance next turn. Make it there. We'll see. Um, let's not have him go there though for the moment. There we go. And uh, but yeah, that'll be it for me. Uh, so next time we've got some more fighting to do in our various areas, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to push the dark elves back even more. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I've been Ash Ninja. This has been. Uh, Bellacore, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you later.